Hello, Times Crossword, let's go. Force into recycling waste. Yeah, I think this is refuse. Force is F, the abbreviation. Recycling is reuse. And refuse is waste. Away from head spots small rash. I wonder if this could be retros, but I'm not getting the word play. Cloth worker accepting brief hand on return. No job share for him. I think this is going to be full timer. Let's see if the word play works. So a cloth worker is a fuller, someone who fulls cloth. Accepting brief hand on return. Mit is a hand with double T. Brief indicates you omit its last letter. So fuller about mit reversed and without its final letter. And a full timer doesn't have a job share. He's doing the work all by him or herself. Fog is the main worry. Yeah, this is C fret. So C fret is the type of fog. The main is the C and to worry is to fret. Lily, opera star, missing start of season. Well, start of season is S. What's the lily? And what's the opera star? Not getting that. Word for word, literal, wickedly retail lie. Yeah, this is surely literal. Wickedly is an anagram indicator for retail lie, which is nine letters long. That is, is a reference to IE, which means that is, is idest in Latin. So if you remove IE from lie, you're left with L, and together with retail, that creates literal. Hotels seeming to need replacement for exceptional item. So replacement looks like an anagram indicator. We're looking for 13 letters. There are seven in seeming. Okay, that looks jolly hard. Nine in seeming two, still needing four. No, not getting that. Let me have another look at one across. Away from head, so it's not retros. Spots, small, rash. Wow, what is this? And I've already looked at two down. I'm going to have to hope that I hope that I get four down from other clues. Forgery of conservative affiliations resolved. Well, this looks like an anagram of affiliations and C for conservative. Let me just check that the letters work. Yeah, the letter count is correct. So L in third place, a word meaning forgery. No, not getting that. One gathering fabric has pain after exercise. No, pungent ga gas in area. Yeah, this is ammonia. So ammonia is a pungent gas, area is A, the abbreviation. More complaining is monia, and heard indicates that monia is spelt differently to how it would be, would be spelt with its meaning of more complaining. On tick, that looks like a reference to mo, passion, ire, for silky fabric, moiré is a silky fabric. Harassing with knife in competition. 
drunken butler, then scrubbed with soap. No. Small groups, endless reason to tour capitals. Wow, not getting that. Ancient city, square, very, what? I don't know. Already looked at that. A doesn't assist much. Wow, tricky puzzle today. Pays stooge for somewhere to put a pin up. With dots, marks pages in steps. Well, there's a lot of plurals going on here, so I'm thinking it probably ends S. Three-dimensional figure. One slashes. Yes, wow, this is tricky. So, a three-dimensional figure is a solid. One is I. And a solidus is a slash, as in a top right to bottom left slash. And its plural is solid I. Love, a requirement to keep you half blind. Requirement could be a reference to need. Not getting it. Pays stooge for somewhere to put a pin up. I wonder if it ends wall. That would have an A in third place. Somewhat crazy. Circular. No. OK, so where was I up to with the downs? Immigrant's earnings. Yeah, this is incomer. Straightforward clue. Earnings is income. Resented at first is the letter R, and an incomer is an immigrant. Let me finish looking at the downs. Appearance of a magazine with almost half missing. To which patron contributes a bit. Yes, I think this is trunk. And... A bit is a refer is a hidden indicator, and within patron contributes, you can see tron and c. And I think the whole thing can be read literally. And I think a tronk is a form of tip, perhaps one which is in which all the sh all the tips are shared out to the restaurant staff, something like that. Okay, so a few crossing letters here. Sensitivity restricting one American. Historian, yes, this is Tacitus. Sensitivity is tact, restricting one, restricting I. American is US, and Tacitus was a Roman historian. Old time real regularly. Done spontaneously. Wow, I wonder if... Real regularly is a reference to every other letter in real, so either R-E or E-L. And done could be an anagram indicator. So we're looking for a word which means spontaneously and is an anagram of old time R-E or E-L. And I'm just wondering if it's neither. And the answer is extempore, which is which does mean spontaneously. Old time could be X. Not getting the rest of that. I'm just going to keep that in mind. Bob say means to save time. Yeah, this is shortcut. So a bob is a haircut and it's a short one. So Bob could be a shortcut, and a shortcut is also a means to save time. Appearance of a magazine. Yeah, this is aspect. So aspect is appearance. A is A. Magazine is spectator, a magazine published in the UK. 
with almost half missing, well, it's missing four of its nine letters. Now, E, is that helpful? Well, it still fits extempore. That would place a T in ten down. Could this end stitch? I think it is. So, let's see how this works. One gathering fabric. Yeah, I think a running stitch is a type of stitch used by somebody who does needlework. And pain after exercise, a stitch is a pain, muscular pain that you can get after. And then exercise in this case is running. So I think stitch just refers to pain. Okay, well, long clues can be helpful. Ancient city. I wonder if this is Ninivar, an ancient city. Square. Nine is a square. The square of three. Three times three is nine. Very is V, the abbreviation. And what is R, the interjection? Great V and H. Those look useful. Drunken butler, then scrubbed with soap. Drunken just looks like an anagram indicator. And there are ten letters in butler then. I wonder if scrubbed means without its outside letters. Either the outside letters of butler then, so B and N, or just the outside letters of then, T and N. And the whole thing means soap. Not getting that. Harassing with a knife in competition. Could, yes, wow. This is quite tricky. But it's chivying, which means harassing. Knife is chiv. Chiv is an old-fashioned word for a knife. And in competition is vying. 12 minutes down, small groups, ah, this is caucus, a caucus is a small group, endless reason, well the reason is cause, endless without its final E, to tour capitals, to tour UC, the abbreviation for uppercase, which are capital letters as contrasted with lowercase letters, drunken, OK, so it's not an anagram because there's no S in butler then. Or, yeah, I wonder if scrubbed is an anagram indicator for then and soap. That's eight letters. But then the definition would be drunken butler. Then and soap. Wow. Is there a drunken butler called Stefano in some... In some book or play, absolutely never heard of that, but it certainly fits the definition. Well, sorry, it fits the word play of being an anagram of then with soap. So I am going to leave it in for the moment. Forgery. So this does look like it ends Asian. And we've got Asian in the middle of affiliations. So what's left if we take that out is affil. S and C. And it means forgery. Affil, I and C. Well, I feel this is falsification. It fits the letter pattern. So Affil. I see, and there's an extra S, oh yes, at the end of affiliation, so few. That is correct. One more letter in four down, which is my lifeline to the top left. But I'm going to have a look at some of the other clues first. Pays stooge. Pays could be foots. Stooge. For somewhere to put a pin up. Wow, not sure. Okay, well, I haven't even looked at all of the across clues, so let me let me attend to that. Comprehensive, but difficult progress. So progress is going. Comprehensive. 
Yeah, this is thoroughgoing, which means comprehensive, but is though, the American spelling, T-H-O, difficult is rough, and progress is going. Great, I am going to have another look at four down. Hotels seeming to need replacement. Ah, I wonder if this is an anagram of hotels seeming for exceptional item, something else. Yes, I haven't checked every letter of this, but is this an anagram of hotels seeming? I think it is by I, and it certainly means exceptional item, and there are a lot of corroborating letters. Away from head, spots, small, rash. I think this ends less. If something's rash, it's, well, it's not riskless. It's not ruthless. Small is S. So we're looking for a word which means spots without its leading letter. And it means rash. Let me consider this letter just in my mind. Not seen anything yet. Rash. Restless. Spots. And spots could be a reference to something like measles, or it could be to identify. Now, let me have another look at two down. Lily. Opera star, missing the letter S. Aha, uh -huh, rash is reckless. So spots are freckles away from its head, its leading F, gives reckles, and then small is S. So I've been thinking about two down for a while, Wondering, wow, if it's Scylla. I'm wondering if S Scylla, and this could be an I or a Y, is an opera star, but Lily, I'm actually going to remove this and come, come back to it because I don't feel confident and I want a better go at it, but there's still work to be done. 18 minutes down. Pays, so this does look like foots. Somewhere to put a pin up, yes, this is footstool. So pays is foots, a stooge is a tool, and a pin is a leg. So somewhere to put a leg up would be a footstool. Love, a requirement to keep you. Half blind would be one eyed. Love is O. A score of zero in tennis. A requirement is a need to keep you. Ye is an old-fashioned word for you. And one-eyed is half-blind. Fantastic. Oh, there's an orphan clue here. So extempore definitely fits the letter pattern. Definitely fits the definition of spontaneously. Old time X tempo, old meaning X and tempo meaning time, and real regularly is every other letter in real, R and E, and done spontaneously is extempore. Fantastic. Just the bottom left to go, and two down. With dots, marks, pages in steps, new. No. Dance sequence. Old-fashioned, extremely unusual. No. Somewhat crazy. Circular. I think this is loopy. 
Loopy means somewhat crazy and loops are circles. So circular could refer to loopy. With dots, marks, pages in steps. Gosh, this is tough. Ah, I'm just wondering. I don't really like this. I'm thinking of stipples. I think if you stipple, you add dots. But stipples doesn't mean with dots. Marks, pages could be double P in steps in style. So this is stipples. And I wonder if with I would expect with dots to refer to stippled with a D, but I'm just wondering if it, whether with is simply a joining word and that the definition, no, the definition is with dots marks and to mark with dots is to stipple. And then pages is double P in styles. So 20 across dance. This looks like it begins par, which is a dance step sequence, old fashioned, extremely unusual. Well, the extreme letters of, of unusual are U and L. Ah, oh, I wonder if this is Pascal. I wonder if that is a darn sequence. Old fashioned is passe. And then extremely unusual is UL. So I'm not familiar with this expression, but I'm confident it's right. Now, one wretched clue to go. 22 minutes down. All of the crossing letters are correct. Lily. I'm wondering if this is Kala. I think that is a Lily. Opera star. Maria Callas was an opera star. Missing the final S from her name. So I'm confident that is correct. So there we go, 22 minutes down. Every clue solved, every clue explained, no empty squares. Submit, submit, hope and pray. One error, oh no. Gosh, okay, so I think Ninivar is spelt E-H at the end. And that was a square being three squared. And then how can I go back and see what the clue was? I'm not sure, but definitely I, I feel this is an error I've made before. The, I'm confident that the correct spelling is E-H at the end. So that one caught me out but a beautiful puzzle nonetheless from the times i found that jolly tricky 22 minutes on the clock so i think the snitch for that is going to be in the 80s or 90s but absolutely fantastic fun and tremendous when the penny finally drops on the clues where you are struggling with them so absolutely super stuff i hope you enjoyed watching that solve like and subscribe and i will see you next time Thank you.